can't believe we're really here. It's such a long way from home. Wasn't that the idea? Something wrong with yours, huh? It's got legs. It is squid. It is? <laughs> How was I supposed to know calamari was squid? Why don't you order her? I'm trying to develop more sophisticated tastes. A big shot like you can't be married to some hick from Iowa. You're not some hick. You're my hick. Thanks. Thanks. Tea for the lady and milk for the growing boy. Happy anniversary, Chuckles. Happy anniversary, Nina. Of getting married or just living together? Neither. Actually, it's the 16th anniversary of our first phone call. <laughs> you guys celebrate everything? Everything good. <laughs> Which is everything. <laughs> Jerry, 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 Jerry. Come on, all right. Well, good isn't good enough. It had to be great. Come on, you can tell me the truth. Was it sort of okay? Not too awful? It was, it... It was fine. Yeah, that's what I said. It was a disaster. There were hundreds of people there. 143, including the mayor's entire staff and the cleanup crew. Come on, Iris, what'd you expect? You want people to spend the last day of summer watching I got the ball. Come on, Kenny, 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 you sound like a press release. Today is Labor Day, remember? I just think we should focus on some of the labor struggles our colorful neighbors have endured. Yeah, that'll be a real crowd pleaser. Oh, shit! Hey! Oh. Asshole! I love this car. I think you married me for this car. Legs first, then mind, then car. Maybe it was car, then mind. I. I don't remember. Why don't you marry me? You're the second largest penis I've ever seen. <laughs> OK. Who has the first, he asked, begging for trouble? A statue in the Piazza Signoria. Statue, mm -hmm. statue, a sculpture. Very funny, very funny. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. Why? Why? Because the sculptor could always send out for more marble. I got to work with what I got. Too bad. <laughs> 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 what you got works great for me. Mm. I'm almost relaxed. Oh, good. I need some champagne and caviar. Let's go to Petrosian and get drunk. Then go home and get in the hot tub. Then I'd be totally relaxed. Don't start, Claire. We're picking up Lucy. Didn't we have her last week? Yes, we did. And we're going to have her tonight for a few hours, that's all. Tonight is the night before the first day of school. I always cook her dinner. How sweet. It's kind of a tradition. Huh? Hey, Cam! Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, please let me talk to Lucy. No, no, your check is not late, Madeline. Today is a legal holiday. You'll get it tomorrow. We're not going to get to just... Hello, baby. Hi, sweetheart. How's my girl? Mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of nice. No. Yeah? No. Diego hates yellow, remember? He said it's the state color of New Jersey. Diego. Well, it goes with everything. We don't have anything for it to go with. <laughs> hey, get the one you want. I've got to get to work so I can pay for it. Are we so poor that I can't even have a new pair of shoes? Look, your brother only wore those for three weeks. In two weeks, you'll be telling me that they're too small. Stop that. What about school jackets? You need new jackets? Everybody has them. How much are they? $150. Jeez, what a bargain. We should all get one. Do they make them for dogs? Can we just talk about this later? Yeah. OK, now I'm going to take a nice cold shower. And oh, would you mind taking out Fenno? I think he's going to explode. I'm already late. Oh, hey, fine. Just lock him in your closet. Just this way, Mrs. Bishop. We've got a wonderful bunch of kids here. Yep. <laughs> of course, they're normal. So we have our problems, too. Well, that's why I'm here. Yes, you'll be dealing with a, a lot of divorce. Single parents, kids caught in the middle of grown-up problems. Here we are. Here's your new office. We've just given it a fresh coat of paint. Yes, I can smell it. It's one of my favorite smells. Yeah, me too. New beginnings and all that. Yeah, all that. Well, I'm going to let you set up housekeeping. Thank Remember, you. my door is always open. Thanks.
Well, I can't predict the future. That's true. I have been right every time. Okay, I'll put the order through. Great. I'll talk to you after the market closes. Hey, Jack, buddy. Well, hot moron. Listen, much as I hate to do it, I gotta thank you for that force tip. I got a lot of very happy clients. Good. I don't mind sharing the wealth. Good. I don't mind uh, returning the favor. Here, have a look at this Maritan stuff. It looks very interesting. I'll give it a look. Not plotting a coup, are we? No, just trying to make you more money. Keep doing what you're doing. You were number one in commissions last quarter, and we all know how hard you pushed for that. No pain, no gain. I don't know. Jeremy makes it look pretty painless. He handled that Farinco offering without one hitch. I had a lot of fun with that one. Oh, come on. Fun my ass. You put your dick on the line when it counted. Yeah. Listen, you guys, I'm late for my 11 o'clock, so I'll see you later, buddy. Chuck, we had to let Dexter go. Oh, no. It's harder these days to get the job done, and he wasn't cutting it. But the good news is I'm going to give his accounts to you. Great. You won't regret it. Better not. George Mullaney is his heaviest hitter. You'll meet him tonight. Mm-hmm. I'll be ready for him. Enough said. Signora, un momento. El forma es muy importante. Muy importante. Por los food stamps. Por comer. Por usted y niño. No? Oh, I'll see you, Dad. Desiro wants to help you. Help. Or comer, no? Oh, please. Muy importante, no? Niño, eh? No? Oh. This is Taki Hey, if it isn't a man about town. You know what I love about this job? I get to go to exotic places. Like 942 West 142nd Street. An address, I might add, that no longer exists. The exercise is great. I climbed 23 flights of condemned steps today. You know what I'm saving on a health club? John, you are an inspiration to us all. You also got an appointment waiting. Oh, shit. Uh, Mr. Petrovich? Yes, yes, here, here, Mr. Petrovich. Hey, Mr. Romero. How you doing? You tell me. How's that kitchen job holding up? It's bullshit. They put me on part time. They're screwing around with my hours so I can't watch the kids when my wife works. I'll call the manager again. I'll talk to him personally. Look, I need a real job. Something with a future. Stock options, a profit sharing. I can't raise my kids in an apartment. We need a house with a yard. It doesn't have to be fancy. As long as the schools are decent and the air is clean, we'll pack up and leave tomorrow. Do you have any jobs like that? If I had one, I'd take it myself. Thank you, George. I can't believe I killed myself to get back from Washington so we could watch dirty movies, and now you're telling me? Honey, I told you about this a million times. It's very important to Lucy. Is Mad Dog going to be there? No, she's not. She's working nights this week. If she was going to be there, I wouldn't have asked you to go. Barbara, I need some heads now. And her name is Madeline. A rose is a rose. Listen, I am up to my ass in alligators here. You mean I have to go alone? There you go. Hi. I'm Iris Morton. I'm president of the Parents Association. Hi. I'm Nina Bishop. I'm the new school psychologist. Oh, I thought you looked a little young to be a parent. You look like one of the kids. I sort of feel like one. Not that I don't think I'm qualified. Or... Oh, I didn't mean that. I have two boys here, Marty and Kenny, seventh, eighth grade. Those are very interesting ages. Yes, interesting is the right choice of words. <laughs> Excuse me, is there a payphone around here? The one in the lobby is out of order. Uh, yeah, by the nurse's office, third floor, right through those doors. Third floor? Forget it. Took me half an hour to find a place to pee. I ended up in the little boys' room. Oh, I could have traumatized some eight-year-old, but I figured, fuck it. You gotta go, you gotta go, right? Absolutely. Hi. 
I'm Iris Morden. I'm president of the Parents Association. This is Nina Bishop, our school psychologist. Hi. Bet you're busy in a place like this. <laughs> I'm Claire LaRoy. Oh, I've been looking for you. Your daughter put you down for the refreshment committee. Daughter? Good God, do I look like a mother? Well, I don't know. What do mothers look like? What I mean to say is my husband's daughter is a student here. What grade is she in? I don't know. So, uh, how old is she? 12 or 13. She's a walking mass of raging hormones, but then... Aren't we all? <laughs> well, I have just the spot to put those raging hormones to good use. We need all the help we can get. Help with what? I'm sorry, I don't quite understand. I'm kind of filling in here. Oh, I'm talking about the Rainbow Festival of School Pageant. This year we're doing a kind of a 60s theme. Okay, committees now. Refreshment committee, poster committee, program committee, decorations committee. I'll do decorations. Oh, great. That's my committee. School committees are not my thing. I do my best work in the boardroom. And the bedroom. <laughs> well, it, it is a school tradition. Fine, my husband will do it. Husbands and wives, that's the rule. You don't understand, I'm only the stepmother. Oh, step-parents count. If we didn't count step-parents, we'd have like maybe four people show up. <laughs> I'll put you down the decorations committee with us. Don't worry about it, really. It's fun, besides it's months away. Months away? I haven't the faintest fucking idea what I'll be doing then. I'm oh, sure you can fit it in. Now we shouldn't be maybe next Tuesday? Here, maybe? Well, no, why don't you come to my house? And I'll cook supper, and we'll have a meeting there. Husbands, too. Don't put yourself out. That sounds great. See you then. Be great. <laughs> George Mulaney has more money than God, but he's tighter than a duck's ass. How do you uh -huh. share? This is Major Bishop. Don't fuck it up. Hey, George. I am so glad that you could make it. I told you about Chuck Bishop, our new VP. It's good to meet you, Mr. Mulaney. So you're the latest lion tamer. <laughs> well, I am fearless, if that's what you mean. <laughs> hey, I just got off the phone with the Japs. Bam, they went for it. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't believe we've met. I'm Jeremy Brimfield, young stud. I'm George Mulaney, old fart. <laughs> <laughs> I will never be as smooth as Jeremy. He always says the right thing. He always dresses perfectly. Who cares? He's just a lot of hot air. You're too hard on yourself. You need a diversion. <laughs> I don't have time for a diversion. You do on Tuesday at 7.30. We're having a dinner party. For who? I met some people at the meeting tonight. We're doing a school pageant honey, together. Honey, I can't. I just can't. I have too much work to do. Well, I already invited them. Well? Besides, I came here. It's only fair that we entertain for my job. All right. It'll be fun. Oh, yeah, it'll be a blast. Evening with a bunch of people I don't even know. We don't even know these people. I told you, she's the new school psychologist, and the other couple are parents. Well, at least he is. Do I have to wear a tie? You can go starve naked for all I care. Why are you being so difficult? Because I hate small talk. I'd rather stay home and read a good book. We never go anywhere. All our friends have left the city. It's so boring. I'm not bored. Okay. Hey, hey thank you, Mother dear. And eat your breakfast. Thank you, Mother dear. And eat your breakfast. <gasps> thank you, Mother dear. And eat your breakfast. Scrambled <laughs> eggs and toast, Marty. Pancakes are on the way. <laughs> <laughs> What have you done to your hair? Nothing. Then we must have an electromagnetic field in our hallway because your hair is standing on end. I wore love beads. Well, then let him wear love beads. It's my hair. The punk movement glamorizes violence, and this is a nonviolent household. Doesn't sound very nonviolent to me. I don't complain about your hairdo. There's nothing wrong with my hairdo. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please. Oh, I feel so fatherly. Dinner with the school leaders. Lucy's gonna love this. Mm -hmm. well, I didn't love her volunteering me for that stupid committee. Those women are not exactly my type. Mm. You sure I can't talk you into a romantic evening at home? Alone? So are we gonna be for a couple of hours? How bad can it be? So, you're from Iowa. Uh, 
Iowa. What's it like in Iowa? Oh, um, it's, uh, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> oh, it, it's very small <laughs> and friendly and it's very, um, it's very, <laughs> um, Iowan? <laughs> yeah, I guess. No, a, uh, a lot of people think Iowa is is more, you know, it's further west than it than that actually right. is. That's true. Huh? I can't tell you how grateful I am that you allowed us to use your apartment for this meeting. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it, no. This is a real treat. Oh, it's, yes, uh, real. So, Leo, what do you do? Me, I, uh, I, I manufacture toys. Warm, cuddly ones. <laughs> Just like the owner. Good old-fashioned American dolls. We make them in Taiwan. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry oh, we don't have more furniture. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff on order. The table and the chairs are alone from our decor. Yeah. Oh, who are you using? Diego Carrera? Oh, he's very high concept. He is. You call our decorating low concept? I call it eclectic. Chuck, did you know Claire's in banking, too? Oh, really? I'm in, uh, stock portfolios, bonds, and, uh, Who money. do you work for? Arthur Everson. Arthur! Do you know him? Of course. Is he still married to that bitch with a lousy nose job? <laughs> so, um, John, what do you do? I'm in welfare. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, my cheese puffs. I'll just back up a second. Uh, I'll, excuse me. I'll... Cheese puffs. This is a disaster. I had more fun when I had my wisdom teeth out. No, oh, then you had laughing gas. True. Stop it. Maybe Diego should put in the trap door. Maybe they'll just go away. Chuck. Chuck. Go play host. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did you hate that? Welcome to the 90s. Oh. Boy, I mean, how inconsiderate can you get? I mean, some guy wakes up the entire neighborhood trying to protect a stupid car? Is it ours, honey? I uh, know, I don't think so. Cheese puffs? Cheese puffs? Um, watch your fingers, they're hot. They're hot. Boy, you guys have a heck of a view here. Mm, those must be the thousand points of light I've heard so much about. Yeah, it's really spectacular. It looks like a light show out of the 60s, doesn't it? I don't know. I'm not exactly an expert on the 60s. Yeah, we were born in 66. You were born in 66? Yeah, so we don't remember a whole lot. God, <laughs> I remember everything. Unfortunately, so do I. Cheese pump? No, no, no. Cholesterol. Oh. <coughs> I just immediately assumed that anyone that was even alive in the 60s went to Woodstock and wore love beads. Oh, John went to Woodstock. Really? Did you really? Were you there? I was there, yeah. My mother wouldn't allow me to go. She didn't think there would be enough toilets. <laughs> 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 Your mom was right. <laughs> well, I have a Jimi Hendrix album. Does that count? You do? Jimi Hendrix always was counts. He was great. Janis, yeah, Joe but Yeah, but the, yeah but, the, but the best group of the 60s by far, very obscure, urban shit kickers, Willie and the Saddle Sores. John. <laughs> what are you kidding? Willie and the Saddle Sores? Very much an anti war slant. John. <laughs> Willie and the Saddle Sores? I wish the bombs were cow dung frisbees. I wish the bullets were made of straw. I wish soldiers trained on whiskey. And, and war was against the law. law. So put out my do not disturb sign with my boots. <laughs> Beside my bed, wake me when it's over. Ain't no sleeping when you're dead. So let the old mother lovers of the earth fight their battles on their own. And we'll all party, party for all we're worth. Flipping Nixon the big old phone. Yes! <laughs> tricky dick. Queens Boulevard. Queens Boulevard. Unbelievable. You were there. The I know what you were. The waitress. The waitress. Yeah. Hair down to here. With the tattoo. With the tattoo. What did the tattoo say? 